crispy. Welcome back to another episode and what we have here today is a commission for the Evil Dead 2 cabin or at the very least the inside and front of the cabin what is the front door and what are the front windows um, on the inside so basically this is and I always do this I never start off with a ruler uh, so here we have I think it's 18 inches across, which makes it 16 on the inside because of the one inch uh, walls on either side. And basically, I got contacted uh, by someone who is a big fan of uh, the Evil Dead um, series, uh, specifically Evil Dead 2. And um, she's actually, and I actually think this is my first uh, dial commission for a female, I'm, I'm pretty sure. Uh, I have had females contact me for dials in the past, but usually it's for like their boyfriend or their husband. But this is actually for her. And she has or is getting an Ash figure. And Ash is the, um, the main uh, character from the Evil Dead series. So she's getting a, it's a, an Ash figure by NECA. So they're a little bigger than the normal scale. So I normally work in 112 scale, 6 inch figures. This is for a 7 inch figure so the doorway had to be a little bit taller as did the windows. Uh, and one of the most important parts for her was making sure that this trap door was there. Now in the movie what happens is that there's a book that if you read from this book you basically um, conjure up the devil or, or demons. So at some point um, in the movie, I guess somebody's parents come to this cabin. They start reading from this Evil Dead book. And the mother, I think, gets possessed. So she comes out of the cellar, attacks the people who are here. She gets kicked in the cellar. Her face is sticking up or is kind of on the doorway. And then all of a sudden it gets stepped on and um the eye pops out so uh this is where okay so some of the details some of the details include uh a fireplace and the she had actually sent me um some reference pictures that unfortunately uh they're not they're they're not like you can't google evil dead 2 um cabin you know, images and get a whole bunch of images. They just don't really exist. I don't know if photography um, was huge with movies back at that time because if you watch this movie, the graphics are horrible. <laughs> They're horrible. Um, but anyway, so on top of the fact that she wanted to make sure this was kind of a working uh, cellar door, what I did to connect this door to the floor was basically just um, the action figure packaging. Um, just the plastic strips and I just kind of cut it so it's long enough to fit into the door itself and the base or the, the floor. And then uh, I put in some hooks, put in the chain, got a padlock, and uh, that's all set. So she can, you know, it can't go up any higher than this, but she can definitely put something to prop it open. Also wanted to make sure that, um, so going back, I didn't finish that thought process. She has sent me some images. And some of the images she sent me, or one of the images she sent me, was actually um, a dial that was made. Uh, but it was made using mostly, like for example, this is just some um, insulation foam board carved out to make it look like um, just skinny wood. But the picture of the dial she sent me, they, they used actual wood. But they also didn't indent the fireplace. So the fireplace was almost like a piece that was built. I'm assuming the base is probably wood, which which would make it really difficult to kind of um, put a flat fireplace into the wall rather. Uh, created this shelf 
from scratch. I actually put a video on Dollar Sorcerer real quick on how I created it, but uh, basically, because it is foam, it's easy enough to manipulate and it's easy enough to stab things into it and, and uh, they'll hold. In this particular case, um, use skinny sticks on both ends and then just set it up so that it can slide right into uh, the top there. And it can definitely hold some weight. Now, this dial um, is supposed to have a deer head that actually comes to life, like just a head. The movie's weird, yeah, I gotta check this out. And then over here, there's a wall clock, and there's like a rug, like a like an area rug, and there's some signage. Uh, but she basically has all of it, so which is why you don't see it here because any Evil Dead Two dial is incomplete without the deer head, without that clock. Uh, but again, she had purchased these things already, so she's just gonna install them. She also has the curtains. So what I wanted to do real quick, because um, I'm assuming she's going to be watching this uh, video. The current rods can be removed, uh, but you kind of have to spin them. And as you're spinning them, they'll pop out and then you can kind of put the curtain in there. And then when you put them back in, you kind of, I get, you know, again, spinning them or spinning it right back into place. Uh, not too difficult, but definitely be careful um, because this is foam that I definitely reinforced with some cardboard, some thin cardboard here so it wouldn't um, wear out so quick. That's just a dowel rod. All of this, some pieces are really, like this right here, this is real wood. And this is real wood. But for the most part, that's just foam, um, project foam. Use these little tiny nails. Uh, and I thought th that was a good look. And then for the floor, I definitely liked how the floor came out. Um, three different colors made up the floor. At some point, he takes a shotgun and he shoots the walls. Or he's shooting... I think his, he chopped his own hand off. <laughs> he chopped his hand off. The hand starts running. It runs into a rat hole. And then he's trying to shoot it. And then the hand kind of just peeks out. So he shoots anyway. So he's using a shotgun. He's shooting... Uh, the wall and every time he or once he finished shooting the wall at some point just blood came just gushing out at him in red then it was black <laughs> you know, yeah again yeah I gotta check out this movie the movie is a wild movie um yeah man so this is pretty much it uh I have sent a picture along to her and she seems happy with it uh and now I just have to pack it up and ship it out and that is pretty much it uh, I made sure that I had the blood dripping, so it dripped onto the uh, floorboards, and the door is not open, you can't, it's not a working door, you can't open or close, and it's permanently there, and yeah, man, once she, um, once she receives it, she's gonna put the curtains, she's gonna put the, every, every, all the pieces that she needs to put in, and she's gonna send me a picture, or she's gonna post a picture, and she's gonna tag me. Uh, in this case, the walls, I don't know if you can see, they're a little bit warped. And that has to do with, uh, for a long time, a lot of the foam board was coming out uh, warped. You couldn't get a lot of straight uh, pieces of foam. But it works in this case because this is a cabin that is kind of falling apart a little bit. Um, but yeah, man, yeah, have any uh, questions, comments, uh, just leave them in the comments and I will get back to you. And I'm out. Peace.